what's going on guys uh hope y'all can hear me good uh, i'm trying out my same mic that i had before and everything and uh because i haven't had a chance to get uh, some newer ones yet uh so uh, if it's too bad i'm probably going to redo the video but um but y'all let me know how the how the mics are sounding there because it is pretty windy out here but uh right now we're at the loves and uh y'all can see the little loves logo right there but uh we're at the loves right here in uh, goshen indiana and um we are fixing to do a truck tour of mike's my buddy mike's truck and uh so y'all have seen some of mine so i'm gonna go ahead and, and do one of uh his so i'm gonna turn the camera around let him introduce himself and then um basically uh let him tell you what kind of truck he's got and basically we're gonna walk around the truck show you what all he's got how he's got it set up all right come on mike what's happening <laughs> much. so this is my buddy mike and uh, he, he's not too far from me he's over in arkansas so but uh he came over here to bennett with me and so we're going to test this waters out over here and see how everything works but Ready to just get on here and uh, and show you his truck. So uh, tell us a little bit about your truck, Mike. Okay, um, it is a 2024 Ram 3500 uh, Laramie Night Edition. Uh, as far as the inside, I went in a little bit above and beyond, probably. But uh, guys, y'all gonna like this. Built me a little cockpit over there for my navigation ipad paperwork i'm gonna get here just a little bit closer Stuff like that you keep explaining it uh that little switch to the right there it is the remote switch for my power on and off on my inverter that runs my refrigerator microwave tv and fan got the wolf box dash guys, cam yeah guys y'all seen i got the the same wolf box and everything and c palmer done that video and and i got me one so that thing's handy that's what i want sunroof <laughs> so but uh what's that little mount you got right up there uh i can't remember the name of it the that's my cell phone holder yeah uh, okay and guys he's also got he's got his weather tech shades he puts up but um uh, i'm gonna step back a little bit and let him uh show the uh he's got some curtains uh right here set up too or he might be able to do it from the back so when i'm laying in the bed at night if it's cold or if it's hot the truck's running the dash lights are on even though i can dim them uh sometimes i still yeah, I yeah. yeah. got a little velcro right here so you can from uh so block off the whole back end from all the dash lights and stuff that's pretty neat bed set up and tell us about your bed frame <laughs> So this is a fold-out plastic table that I had in the shop when I started uh, designing the truck, getting ready to go do RV transport. I liked it because the legs are skinny, don't take up near much room, don't have all that lumber and all that back here. So it is a plastic fold-out table. Um, I did put a piece of plywood on top just for extra support. The cap off with the pipe insulation. Got my power strip mounted right here. 2,000 watt inverter, I believe. That powers everything up. Let's see, I'm gonna move this out of the way. We don't care. No, move where you need to. Move this, turn the box. So there's his inverter right there. So he's got that mounted down. He's got his little power strip right here. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's a damn thing in there. Is that the uh, is that the case? The, the Jaden. Okay. Printer. So guys, Mike is where I get the printer. And.
So there it is right there. It guys, this thing uses no ink whatsoever. It's all laser. It takes rolled paper and you just Bluetooth it to your phone or tablet or iPad or whatever. And you got your little small compact guys, you can put that thing in your back pocket. And um keeps it out of the way, doesn't take up no room, and now you got a printer on the road. So man, I didn't notice this. Look at that. Got him a TV. <laughs> yeah, buddy. 24 inch. And how do you got that mounted? The signs that we hang in our windows. Yeah. For what company we drive for. Okay. I flipped it around where the long side's on the inside and just ran my screws through it. I got you. Okay. Into the uh, TV. Oh man, that's sharp. Cool. So it runs in, plugs up to the inverter. I've got a cord. I can uh, plug it up to my phone or I can use it off of uh, Wi Fi. Okay, so basically it just transfers from your phone over to the TV. Right. I got you. Can you can watch YouTube or movies or whatever. Neat. Then see, you got him a little fan. Back there in the back, got his curtains and his uh, weather tech shades put back there. So let's walk around the passion side real quick, and then we all look at your tool set up and all that stuff. But guys, this is a sharp looking truck. I like him wheels and everything on it. Oh, Mike, he's never had any good luck with uh, with center caps. He's always <laughs> losing them. So. <laughs> So here is the back side of the stand. You can see the back back of the CB here. And you uh, built this, right? Yes. Yeah, I built that. Built the frame for my refrigerator. So this is a one in refrigerator. This runs off my inverter and microwave on top of it. And so your, your refrigerator stays on all the time, right? Yes. Or as long as you know you're out on the road. Yes. And you've never had any issues with your battery running down? No. Okay. Good deal. Nope, not so, at all. So there's this refrigerator right there. And basically, guys, that's, you know, just like I said, a little 110, uh, like a dorm size uh, refrigerator. So. And he's got his microwave put up there. And... Got it strapped down so it's not moving anywhere. And like I said, guys, he's, he doesn't have any issues with it all uh, uh, running his battery down or anything like that. So, but so we're going to open up the back door and see, you know, so he's got all his food, his cereal. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, got his Cokes and look, what is that, a little crock pot? Yeah. That's yeah. My, that's my little crock pot. Good deal. All right. And then there's his curtains right there. He just pulls them back. Uh, he's got the bed cover back here on the back. And he basically made him some brackets right here. Uh, so that way he could put his bed cover back on. But he's got his CB antenna here. He got his uh, cell phone booth. And guys on the wolf box dash cam. Camera right up there. And um, all right. So tell us a little bit what you got in the bed. Okay. This is a 91 gallon. Right, I'm going to step over to the back. 91 gallon fuel cell toolbox combo that gravity feeds into my factory tank. Got a 25,000 pound uh, BMW Champion fifth wheel. And then. And this one's got the puck system, right? Yes, that is this in the factory puck system. Okay. You got another little toolbox there on the back? Yes. So what all kind of tools you keep in here? Hitches, uh, weight distribution bars, toolbox, battery, you name it. I've even, I'm so short, I even keep a little uh, step stool in there. Yeah, there's a little step stool right there. You got all his tools, okay. toolboxes. You got his... Uh, Fifth wheel adapter plate to a gooseneck or slides it where you slide the, the piece out from a gooseneck. Make it a kingpin fifth yep. wheel. Okay. 
Good deal. So, uh, so have you had any? Uh, have you had any issues with the truck? Other than uh, animals <laughs> running out in front of me, <laughs> aka uh, the deer. That's that's it. Yeah. I bought it in July, and it's got almost sixty thousand miles on it. So four months, sixty thousand miles. Okay. And still runs good. No issues with Dells or anything like that. No, nah, it's doing good. Okay. Now you did have uh, one issue with the headlight, right? The, oh yes. So uh, and basically that, but that was covered under warranty, correct? Yes. Yeah, on both of them, the uh, daytime running lights part of the headlights. One of them went out three weeks after I bought it, had it fixed under warranty, and then the next one went out about six weeks after okay. I bought it, and All it right. was replaced under warranty. Good deal. And then uh, let's see. So he's got his um, got his hitch, the uh, rock guard, got his motor laps, and you also got airbags on this thing, right? Yes. So did you put them on, or did they come uh, from the factory like that, or did no, you order it? I put these on uh, when I first started RV transport. I had the seventeen, the seventeen model. So uh, Dan's put the original airbags on. When I traded the 17 model for this one, I swapped everything over from my old truck to this truck. And they fit on this one just fine. Both it right up. Okay, good deal. And then that one little uh, piece right here in the, that he has mounted, let's see here, right there, that's his switch to, uh, what do you got, the buyer? Is that the buyer, or what is that? Yeah, that's, that's the, uh, that operates the uh, air compressor. I can adjust airbags as I'm going up and down the road okay. driving. All right. And so can you see the airbags from back here? Hope that guy won't take our spot over there. <laughs> yeah, I see you. Boats are right Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can see them right there. Good deal. All right. One some, more. Uh, some people, you know, I comment on the YouTube pages and stuff. I show up as 501 Holland. Yeah. So. Yeah, so guys, if you have, uh, but, uh, but if you ever seen comment uh, and everything 501 Holland, then uh, that's, that's who this is, my buddy Mike. So uh, I'm going to turn y'all around. I'm going to give you a quick little story about how we met. <laughs> so <laughs> he thinks it's funny. But anyway, so uh he had commented on one of my videos uh, or not he i think he commented a few times and then he sent me an email well i never responded back to the email <laughs> so <laughs> but um so what was it, like a week later or something like that or more than that at least two probably minutes. yeah probably two weeks so uh so i was coming up and i was picking up at the elkhart east yard and i pulled out and I saw him sitting on the side of the road, and then, uh, uh, so everything looked like it was going good for him, so I kept on going, came up to a red light, and this sun gun had done chased me down. <laughs> he pulled up beside me, rolled his window down, like it th I thought he was fixing to do a drive-by or something, but, <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, he kept saying 501, and that's all I could hear. And so I thought he was trying to give me his phone number. And so uh, I was sitting there fixing to try to enter his phone number into the my phone so I could call him. He said, no, I email and 501 Holland. And I said, oh, okay. He said, I sent you an email. <laughs> and so I went back and looked through my email. And we was just right down the road from the Indiana Transport uh, main office. So we went down there and pulled in there. And we sat there for probably about an hour talking. And, man, we've been friends ever since. But, uh, they, yeah, it's not going to chase me down. And I was like, what in the world does this guy want? <laughs> but, but I'm glad he did. And, uh, he's turned out to be a great friend, man. We done ran to California together. And, and even that day we ran down to, uh, I was going to, see, was I going to Corpus Christi or was I going to Donna or somewhere down there? And right he, the he was going back, uh, what, Little Rock, somewhere close. And uh, I was going on to Texas, but I live close to Little Rock. Yeah. So okay. I stopped by the house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But uh, 
but yeah, man, we've been we've been friends ever since. So, but anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get off here, and I um, uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, if I run across some uh, more people, guys, if you run across me and you want me to do a tour of your truck, just come up and hit me up, and and I'll be happy to. So, um, so hopefully, I'll enjoy stuff like this, and uh, um. Probably the live or the update on coming to Bennett is probably going to be out before this comes out. So, uh, so hopefully that'll, uh, like I said, hopefully it'll come out before this one. But anyway, uh, guys, y'all don't mind, hit that like, share, subscribe button, and we'll get back to y'all on the next one. As always, y'all be safe. Semper Fi.